In this video, I've got a preparation tip for you. My name's Stephen from In Exteriors Painters and Decorators, and you're watching In Exteriors TV. Right, what we've got here, right, let me just bring the camera down to there. Right, if you'd like to purchase some of the similar tools that I use for this task, please feel free to check out the links in the description below. And also, if you're planning on doing any other decorating works, please feel free to visit my tool store. The links are also in the description below. Let's do this. Right, what we've got here, right, let me just... <clears throat> what we have here is this patch where, it's, where the electrician's been and then they've patched it in with plaster and then I've put a fine fill over it. Now I'm going to be painting it in the Dulux Trade Diamond Matte. But I've also got other areas, like on a feature wall, let me just show you, like around the bottom of that chimney breast, that I'm going to be painting in, in the Johnson's Durable Matte. So I'm doing most of the room in the Dulux Diamond, and then I've got a feature wall to do, in the Johnson's acrylic durable mat. Now, situations like this is you can either thin down a bit of the diamond mat, or that depending on you know, or thin down a little bit of the Johnson acrylic durable mat and put a coat of it on, or you can thin down a bit of. Um, normal white matte emulsion but instead of doing that yeah if you just carry if you carry this about I always have a tin of this in the van you can apply this to it now another thing is is all the other fine bits of filler that I've done on the walls I've um, touched up in this before I'm using this or this but if you was using sort of maybe no normal matte you could just flash up the fine bits of filler with the normal matte and then give it a coat um a paint but i i really do feel that with this durable stuff you know this 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 diamond matte and the johnson's durable matte I just find it safer always to seal it with this. And let me show you what I mean by fine bits of filler. And these are what I mean by fine bits of filler. I mean, because them fine bits of filler, you probably could go over them real fine bits with this, but like I say, it's always, I, I like to just spot them up with the pill stop. But if it's normal matte, then you could go over... Um, straight over them bits of filler. But because this is like acrylic durable mat, on areas like this where this is quite deep, it'll just sit on the top and won't soak in. Um, so that's why you'd either have to water down a bit of this, or a bit of that. But instead of doing that, you can just do this. I mean, I absolutely love this stuff. You could you could coat up, you know, fully, fully plastered, you know, new plaster fully with it. I mean, it would be a more expensive way to go about it, but it would do it. So then once that's dry, you give it another coat. So that was my preparation tip. Thank you very much for watching and take care.